Well, the grizzly bear for the Statlian people um, for generations have been really important. If you look at the diet of the, the grizzly bear, it is the same as what the Statlian people eat, and it's also the same as the seasons. They're one part of the ecosystem. Uh, always have been uh, long before uh, uh, settlement to this area, and, and, and now they've long been missing. At least functionally, they've been missing in this part of that landscape. And so it's so we have an ecosystem where, where a very important part of the ecosystem is missing. So if we look from Lillooet itself to the border, we have very few records of um, existing grizzly bears. So we have um, a 2012 DNA record from the North Cascades unit uh, in the Manning Park area. And we have a record of a bear um, on the east side of the Fraser, so uh, in Fountain Valley. People see bears where they've, or grizzly bears, where they've never seen them before. And they think that there's all kinds of bears as a result of that. Well, they weren't here in the past, now they're here, and so there must be lots. And nothing could be further from the truth, right? We get bears coming down into places they've never been, and in part it's from climate change and disturbance in their home range, and the bears are moving around trying to find food. So it's really challenging to get people to understand that these bears are at great risk, and there aren't a lot of them. When you hit Stein the Hatlatch, the official population estimates 24 animals, but uh, we've lost six females since 2006. That group of bears, that group of 24, is the most genetically isolated in all of mainland North America. So they're incredibly unique and very closely related and at high risk because there's so few of them. So if we're going to protect the grizzly bears, we have to start thinking really seriously about where the development's going, where are the roads being put, and how do we hold those important habitats for the bears into the future in the face of all the pressure on the resources in BC. We felt that the grizzly bear is important to us as Statlium, and that if we protect the grizzly bear in its habitat, we'll protect other wildlife within that same habitat. It is an umbrella species to us and it's very important in that aspect. The grizzly bear also as well is facing dangers or it's facing encroachment from both the south as well as the north in our territory. And we look at the grizzly bear as, as important to the Shtatlium in that if we protect the grizzly bear then we feel that we can protect other animals, other wildlife within the territory. So, so we're embarking on this environmental impact statement. It, it's one of the, the last major pieces of, of effort, I guess, that uh, was called for, gosh, 20 years ago. It's going to be very, very important for all of our partners to engage fully, uh, and it'll be very important for the public and, and, and stakeholders um, to engage fully because it's, it's an important decision and we want to get it right.